64-year-old Charles Ray Johnson is behind bars after fatally shooting his next-door neighbours, 44-year-old Curtis Ray Dickey Jr. and 46-year-old Kelly Nicole Adams. At 10.01pm on Wednesday, the 21st of June, authorities received multiple calls of a shooting outside an apartment complex along the 1800 block of Potomac Place in College Station, Texas. One of the calls came from Charles himself, who told dispatch that he shot two people from his front porch. Upon arriving at the scene, police said that Charles was found in the parking lot and he was taken into custody after telling police he had no choice but to shoot and it was done in self-defense. Curtis was found deceased on the front porch and Kelly was found deceased at the threshold of their apartment. After being taken into custody, Charles admitted to shooting both Curtis and Kelly following a verbal altercation regarding the tampering of Charles's moped. Charles explained that there had been ongoing harassment issues between himself, Curtis and Kelly. Charles told police that after arriving at his apartment, Curtis and Kelly began banging on his door. Charles said he grabbed his gun and went outside to confront them. Authorities said that a witness saw Charles exiting his apartment and yelling at Curtis and accusing him of tampering with his moped. A witness said that Curtis denied the allegations, at which point Charles opened fire on Curtis and then shot Kelly as she attempted to run back to her apartment. Charles is charged with two counts of murder and he's held at the Brazos County Detention Center on an $800,000 bond. A 51-year-old man was arrested last week for kidnapping a woman, holding her captive in a trailer, and sexually assaulting her over several days in May. On Tuesday the 13th of June, authorities arrested Christopher Lee Ward at his residence along the 500 block of New Center Road in Hartsell, Alabama for first-degree kidnapping and second-degree assault, and additional charges are possible. A woman needed Christopher to take her to an appointment, and he drove her back to his trailer afterward and locked her in. Christopher told her that she ruined his day, then hit her several times, injuring her. He then used a padlock to keep her in the trailer, and refused to let her leave. He reportedly sexually assaulted the victim as well. The victim told police that on the second night of captivity, Christopher had taken a shot of dope which in turn made him paranoid. The woman told police that Christopher punched her, kicked her, kneed her in the ribs, choked her, and beat her severely. Christopher said he'll kill her before he went to prison for this. The victim eventually managed to escape when she and Christopher got into his car, but then he stopped to say hi to someone he knew. She said she got out of the car and ran to safety, when she asked someone to call 911 for her. Christopher is currently being held at the Morgan County Jail without bond. A 58-year-old man is behind bars after fatally shooting his neighbour earlier this week. At just before 11pm on Tuesday the 20th of June, Authorities were called to a home along Chain Street in Sumter, South Carolina regarding a man laying unresponsive in the front yard of a residence. When officers arrived, they found 46-year-old Levin Wilson deceased from gunshot wounds. Upon further investigation, police identified George Gregory Anderson as a suspect. Authorities said it remains unclear what led to the shooting. It's reported that the men were not acquainted and there was no indication of a dispute before the incident. George is held at the Sumter County Detention Center on charges of murder and possession of a weapon during a violent crime. George was also served with an outstanding bench warrant unrelated to the case. The investigation into the matter continues. 26-year-old Hunter Tatum will avoid the death penalty after he pleaded guilty to fatally shooting his wife Summer Tatum and the couple's unborn son during his capital murder trial. On Wednesday the 21st of June, Hunter entered a plea arrangement for two counts of murder, and a judge sentenced him to 198 years in prison. At just before midnight on the 18th of October 2021, Hunter shot Summer, who was five months pregnant at their home, on Sunset Court in Prattville, Alabama. Prosecutors argued that Hunter killed Summer because she was angry that he had developed an online relationship with a woman in England. Hunter's defense team alleged Summer threatened Hunter with a gun and told him you don't deserve to live, and I'm going to kill you. Security camera footage, however, captured Summer pleading with Hunter outside their home. Please, 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 I'll stay. I'll do anything. Don't kill me. Hunter said nope several times before shooting his wife twice in the back of the head with a revolver. Medics rushed an unresponsive Summer to Montgomery Hospital, where she was pronounced dead. Doctors delivered baby Everett via emergency C-section, and he survived for about two hours before dying. Prosecutors sought the death penalty, but Summer's family approved of the plea deal. In his statement, District Attorney C.J. Robinson said the case took a toll on all of us. 